I grew up in a very small town called Gilbert Lake. Graduated at 16, decided I was going to move to America and get famous. I was living under a, under a bench in a train station and somehow managed to talk a record label into signing me. And that was my transition from tiny little farm boy surrounded by hay bales and horse shit to tour buses and <laughs> music. <laughs> This is inspiring, because everyone is so insanely talented, but there's something in the sea that just makes you, it brings magic out. Break into the city limits in this town, just, it makes you better. It makes you a better songwriter just being here, doing the music that I love. You look through the through the eras of artists and these just in, incredible creators of things. We all have something in common, and it's there's always this affinity for getting fucked up. I'm great at being intoxicated. It's it's finally at a point where I don't have a problem anymore. I mean, sure, I like I like to drink. I do. That's not a fucking secret. We are addicted people. We have the most addictive personalities as artists. And that's what I am with my art, and that's what I am with my life. And I think that's one of the reasons why I'm good at it. It was scary for a lot of years. Most of it happened around when um, I was gonna have my daughter and she passed away. And it, it fucked me up, as, as it would anyone. And I think, uh, for the most part, along the time, no one knew I was going to do that. No one knew that's what was happening. They just saw that Danny Wozniak was getting really bad and was out of his mind. This record was more therapy than anything. And it was through the times of the overdose and through the rehab and all that shit and through like the loss of the daughter and it was it was just a fucked up time um, and that's I was it was more so sort of writing songs as just self therapy it just turned into something really special I think more than anything the inspiration was just getting all the shit that I was unhealthily bottling up and holding inside and wasn't dealing with putting that out into the universe. I didn't approach it for it to be a country album. I approached it as it's gonna be whatever is inside me coming out. It's just what it became and it, it's what came naturally. With, within country, it's the art of telling a story and about being open and bearing your soul. And it's, that, that's exactly what I needed to do. So it was, it was just, it made sense. I've been so the most incredible friends on the planet. I'm enamored by them every single day. 90% of all the music I listen to is just my friends, because they are out of this world talented. This is, the, this is the biggest turning point in my life. I can't even count how many times I broke down making this record, like there were days that and I couldn't even get out of bed, but I needed it. It was literally like being in therapy. It's been a very healing process, and I think it's made me better than I've ever been. 
I think it's the best work I've ever done, but not even just in music and career-wise, just as a human being, it's just transformed me.